Hi guys! It's the Not So Quiet Quilter here for part two. My lovely wife is over on the computer. Hi guys! Downloading today's, yesterday's video, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the one I just did before this one. So this one is... Uh, continuation of that it's remember it's a start to finish uh book so i we'll call it the watercolor journal yeah that sounds original <laughs> uh the start the cover of the watercolor that journal. so i believe i'm gonna start i might as well use my bowl material as my gluing instead of a glue book or my my cutting mat, like I always do, which I know I shouldn't, but you know what? I do a lot of things I shouldn't do. So, um, see, this one's a little bit off. I'm okay with it. You really can't see it because it's so light. But, okay, this is the center of the journal. So, let me use. Hope everyone's having a good. Uh, Today would be Tuesday, so you're going to see this Wednesday. So, I hope everyone's having a good hump day. Uh, I don't uh, know what I've got to do. I shouldn't have to even work today. Wednesday, I shouldn't. We'll find out. Boy, that one is off. Um, that is way off. I don't think I like that. That one is way too far. Huh. I don't know why it's so far off. Must have got a little heavy handed with my. That's alright. We'll just adjust it. It'll be fine. So, I'm going to glue. Um, so, that's your center, your spine. So, yeah, so I don't think we have. Should be home all day today. Um. Yeah. Because I have one uh, Tuesday that I'm filming this, you know, Tuesday, uh, that <laughs> I got to do before we head to town to see our doctor. So, other than that, that should be everything I'm hoping. I don't really want to work. Um, the rest of the week. The rest of the week. I'm so tired. I just, I do have to get ink blenders done, so... Uh, we'll see. I might try to do a couple. My lathe is outside. You know, I sand. Uh, I got several carved. I got a crap load carved. Uh, blanks made and several carved. But I don't know if I'm going to sand. I'll see how I feel. I really need to. I got so many people that are wanting those ink blenders. And, I mean, I can still take orders if you guys want, but I really need to get caught up, so we'll see. But And so I'll sand outside. It's supposed to be nice today. They said, oh, wait, no. Supposed to be nice Tuesday. I think it's supposed to be about the same all week. Yeah. Today's Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, look who it is. I let my cat out. She was at the door. Who let the cat out? Click, 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 click. <laughs> Sorry guys. It is one of those days. There's Miss Chloe we'll girl. Time. I don't know. We're weird. Oh, we are so weird. So here's my little girl and her big fluffy tail. She's gone. She's gone. She Oh shoot, who in the heck is calling me now? Uh, let me pause it. I got another locate it looks like. Hi guys, it's the not so quiet quilter here again. Uh, there's my lovely <laughs> wife. She is drawing this morning, so she's not going to be talking. Uh, hallelujah to that. <laughs> I knew you were uh, <laughs> but she, yeah, she's doing her drawing class, so. Uh, it, happy hump day. Uh, if you recall, I was filming on Tuesday, not Wednesday. Well, apparently I had an emergency. That's why my phone rang. And so... I wasn't able to get to the video. I don't feel good. We had a really long day yesterday. Uh, but, so I wanted to get the, get this done. So here I am on hump day doing a video. Uh, so she's going to listen to her thing and I'm ready to get started. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. She asked me if I knew where I left off. and uh, I left off, I remember gluing. Gluing the... 
uh, flankies together. So I got them all glued. I need to sew them. And of course, I've, like I said, I chain piece all my stuff. Uh, it's just nice to do that. So it's ready. Uh, so let's get this show on the road. We had a... Uh, they're bearing fiber all over here, and they um, apparently last year hit a water line, an ir or sometime this year, I don't know, hit an irrigation line when they were doing it, and they didn't tell anyone. So when the guy when the guy turned on his irrigation, there was a geyser on the side of the road. So he has to he had to replace oh I don't know about four or five hundred foot of it, something like that. So. Uh, they asked me if I could come down and locate everything uh, that I could, and I did. So, uh, I did that, and then I come home, we got ready, and I had a locate here to do. So, we did that, and then we headed to town. Uh, we had a doctor's appointment, so we went and grabbed a bite to eat, did a few things, and we were still, oh, at least uh, well over 30 minutes, probably about 45 minutes too early to go to the doctor. So I said, honey, why don't we run up to, uh, on top of Mancus Hill, we were, which is just east of Mancus, and get some aspen wood. So that's what we did so we could waste a few minutes. So I got quite a bit of aspen uh, and this is, uh, it's not the cut wood from the mill that I have. Uh, it's actually, you know, aspen trees themselves. So they should have quite a bit more color in them than the other. Uh, but we got quite a bit, probably enough for probably 40 ink blenders maybe. Uh, uh, but I'm not doing that today. Like I said, I feel like crap. And <laughs> today's the second day after my big adventure down at Fort Lewis old Fort Lewis so I am in a lot of pain and I was going to f try to fix our fence for the goats today and I gave up on that idea. I, Shell's still hurting really bad and I didn't want her to help me but I don't feel that good so I thought you know I probably better uh, lay off. Here's Chloe. Chloe say hi honey. <laughs> Chloe right here babe. Look, honey. There's my beautiful Chloe. She just just came out of the bedroom. Hi, Chloe. So she's making the rounds, but she'll stay out probably a half hour, and then she'll walk back to bed until and, afternoon. Until afternoon, but more than likely, we are me and her will take our nap. We haven't had our nap for two days. And it really, really affects her when we don't get our naps. So, so I told her last night that me and her would take our naps. So I'm going to try to do that. We'll see. But I'm just going to leave it on her. You guys can stare at her for a little bit. <laughs> so I turned on my iron. I got it on. And um, ready to... Because I knew I had a, do I got this right? Sundays, I wonder. Hey, I almost sold that wrong. Sewed that wrong. I need to pay more attention. Chloe is a distraction. She's the sweetest little thing. She's my. Not either. She is too. You don't let mamas talk bad about her. <laughs> she mean and she pulls her tail and then <laughs> Chloe just meows. Oh, and I get on to her, I tell her, would you quit being mean to my cat? I can still hear you. I know you can. Heck, I don't care. I ain't saying nothing you haven't heard. Okay, baby's gone. She oh, is. Too funny. She's my baby, and I just love that little girl so much. She's been an absolute joy. No, she's not. She is, too. We got her after my cuddles passed. We've had her, what, six years now? Yeah, six years. Uh, Cuddles was my, I don't know, soul kitties. She was my baby. We found her at the uh, post office next door sitting on the curb. 
on the, the side, the steps, and she wasn't maybe four. How old do you think she was? Eight, four months? Or four weeks? Probably. No, she was probably eight. older. She was probably eight. Yeah, she was pretty tiny. She was tame. So. Yeah, she was tame, but, and she was sitting on the steps next to the busy highway, just sitting there, and I, Shell said, huh, there's a cat. There's a kitten sitting on the... So I bent down. I said, hi, sweetie. And she jumped in my hand. And she was my cat all that time. She died of brittle diabetes. It was extremely hard. That was... Yeah. So, but after she passed, we... Uh, you know, and I decided one day I was... Felt I was ready, to, you know, and I was hoping to get a lap cat because Cuddles, she was very uh, dependent, whatever you call that, Sep separation anxiety and stuff. She was really bad. So uh, I'll finish my story in a minute. Let me go iron these real quick because then I got to sew all these together plus the two that didn't have a match. So I'll be right back. So, yeah, so... You know, it got come to, it was, like I said, it was really hard losing Cuddles. And she was a lap cat. She always wanted to be with me like part is. But, you know, it came. I was ready. And we happened to went to the Home and Garden Show. And there was a cat there. They, they had their, the pet animal shelter had a booth there. So, uh, we knew that, we knew they were there. And that's really actually the whole reason we went. So... <laughs> And there was this little girl, and she was very pretty little thing. But she was okay. She was very pretty. Mom and Honey, quit talking. I'm trying to focus. Honey, I'm gonna <laughs> smack you in a minute. I'm not crazy. You better be. Oh God, guys, what I have to pick up here. Uh, <laughs> and she was laying there, and I just, boy, the second I seen her, I just. I fell in love. I knew she was. So we walked around for about three seconds. Shell says, "Sure, are you sure she's the one you want?" And she looks so boring, you know. <laughs> well, I'm gonna yeah. tell you guys right now, Chloe is not a boring girl. So we went back and got her. But we walked around a booth. And like, yeah, <laughs> I knew it for some reason. Well, unfortunately, which is okay. Miss Chloe is not a lap cat. She is a very, very independent little thing. And she will tell you to kiss her fuzzy butt anytime she wants to. She's got a very bad attitude. I love her to death. She's my baby. She has grandpa's and my attitude that I don't give a rat's took us attitude. So, but she always back talks me, but she's not a lap cat. So, but that was okay. She is such my baby. I just love her so much. But we take our naps together. But we also, it's sweet. We, at night, when, you know, Shell and I go to bed early. And we watch MASH and everything. But we, you know, we spend time with Chloe. And, but me and her, will snuggle together. And she treats me like I'm her baby. She cleans my hair all the time. And loves my beard. Oh, Lord, does she love my beard. It's funny. She's always cleaning my beard. It's so darn cute. But, okay, anywho, um, okay, guys, I don't know if I messed up or not, but it looks like maybe this, this, this goose is tailgating that goose, and I think you could figure out why, because there's not a point there. Uh, I don't know if they're supposed to or not, so I don't know if I really messed up or that, that one likes to get personal, I don't know. So, but, uh... So here's our center. Let me. Sorry, guys. Please be with me. It's my back is so bad right now. But I wanted to get a video done. I really wanted to finish this because I want to see how it's gonna look. Truthfully, I really can't wait to see how it turns out. I really, I'm excited about it. So I think Shell and I were talking about it coming home yesterday, and we didn't get back till 5:30. I mean. I only had two jobs, but we, with the doctor and everything, it just seemed to take forever. So, 
got groceries and everything. So far, I'm not working. I prayed about it, and I know God knows that I am absolutely dead tired. So we're just praying that we don't have any more work this week. So uh, let's see. So if I have this one here, and then this one would be here, and then this one would be, how many do I have? Shinola. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Okay, wait, this one's glued. So I'm going to have one. That's the center, one here. Oh, okay, one here and one there. And then the end. Okay, so let's, uh, oh, dang, it's coming down. I was afraid it would do that, but that's okay. Just wanting to make sure. I guess I could have looked at the picture on my dumb phone, but it's way over there. So, uh, you want me to grab it for you? well, you can. I think I think I know what I'm doing, but <laughs> then I, the minute I think I know what I'm doing, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to screw up. Plain and simple. So, and you know how many's on each side. Oh, we've already got a ticket. So. Well, at least it's not a, a bad word, I guess. We, should, we try not to say that word. And the E word. The E word. <laughs> because when you do, something usually happens. So, let me see, where is it? Oh, yeah, right after you said it yesterday is when you had all those phone calls. <laughs> well, I know. Oh, I don't have it on here. It's on my YouTube. I forgot. Okay, so. What are you looking for? Well, I'm. One, two, three, four, five. There's five on each side. So there'd be four and then the ends, which, to be honest, I know where they are now. I was thinking, I don't. So, so there would be another set. So, okay. So, if that's the case, let me do this one. I, I don't want to mess up. And I, yeah, sometimes I just slips my mind how to do some I get discombobulated really fast. Shell and I have been talking about it, you know, and I I I uh, my mind just I have I don't know. My mind's always going. It's been that way for a very long time. It's like it's going a million miles an hour I have. So I have a tendency to, to forget things or so. Okay, so these two, which would be, let me check, one, two, three, four, five. So there's five, there would be five here now. So I can put these two together. So let me figure out how I want them. This one's pretty light, I think. Huh. I think I want that one because that one looks like it's going to be, yeah, so this is one, one way or another. Okay, so let me glue, I'll glue it right here. And then I still got the uh, single one to sew on. So. But we had a good day. I, You know, I said, well, why don't we leave a little early? Because we had to go do the job for my, our fiber company to so they can know exactly where our fiber is so they can... Uh, he's going to, the one neighbor next to the, uh, we have fiber to the brewery, uh, wants service, so he needed to know where it was in order to give him an estimate on how much it was going to cost to have it buried, so, or however he gets it to him, he, they do quite a bit of aerial, so, so, you know, we thought, oh, we'll waste time, but we got done really quick with everything, so we ended up not having having way too much time that's why i suggest well why don't you just go up to the mountain real quick and just see what we can find and they had a, a lot of downed trees and it's a younger forest so uh the trees there are smaller than like the other places so we had that it was a fun day you know with it's always a great day when Shell and I get to spend it together, and that's the way we look at it, you know. Uh, I know that's not for everyone, but that's the way we, yep, we you know, we prefer just just us. And it's 
not that we don't have friends or we love our friends dearly, but, you know, we just like being with each other. You know, I think that's one reason why, you know, we just work so well together that it makes a big difference. She got something for me as a surprise, I think, since she didn't tell me. <laughs> but I ended up, I bought a manual for my forerunner so I could uh, um, work on it, you know. So I went in to check to see when it was going to be delivered, and I found the surprise, so. And it's neat. So, I can't wait to show it to you when it gets here. I think it was a sweet, happy, sweetest day gift or something. Yeah. That's what we call it whenever we just buy something out of the blue for us. For street. Well, I like my roses. Yeah, I bought her some absolutely beautiful roses yesterday. So excited. I did not see them, actually. Um, we, that one looked like it was crooked, so... Uh, I see, you know, I seen the roses, but I didn't see the detail in these, and I thought, I was focused on the other roses that were next to it, but then when she said, those ones are the ones I was talking about, and I looked at them, and they, I've never, we've never, I mean, all these years I've been buying flower, roses for and flowers, I've never seen these before. Um, actually, I think, I, I, I don't. I haven't put them in. I put them in water for last night because we got home so late. But I'll I'll put them in a vase today. But actually, I think I'm going to take one of them, and I'm going to uh, uh, start a uh, put it in a potato and and start a plant. Oh, since they're cool. fresh, I, I think that would be. So before I let you guys go, I will actually show you the roses because, like I said, I still got to do the. Put them in a vase. They're gorgeous. They're very pretty, and I she still ah oh, son of a biscuit. Oh well, man, <laughs> I thought I held, had it. Dang needle, I I really love buying her flowers. I know you guys know that. And I have bought her some, a beautiful spring spring flowers, and they're still really pretty. Uh, I don't know a week or two ago, something like that. So uh, I was kind of. I don't know I just to me that's a, a gift I love to give her and I've done it since we've been married not ever for a long time we I did maybe I buy a single rose when money was tight or something like that and sometimes I would just bring lil lilacs or something from somewhere or some wildflowers but that's just something I like to do for us to bring her flowers so so, yeah, I know you can actually start potatoes, or not potatoes, a rose in uh, a potato. And we've got tons of potatoes. So. Awesome. so I'm really excited. I've never done it before. I've I've seen it, and I really wanted to do it all this time. But I don't know, today all of a sudden I thought, well, I haven't cut them, put them up. I ought to just take one of them and put them in the potato and plant them. Okay, guys, let me go iron, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, Chloe just went back to bed, so. Okay, I've got these sewn together. And like I said, there's five on each one. So, wait a minute. Oh, that's right. I tell you guys, someday. So, we'll put this here I think I'm gonna maybe straighten this one up real quick this seems a little bit off to me like I said it looks like my geese are getting personal, <laughs> don't, personal. they don't know they don't know social distance <laughs> at least that's what it looks like to me Oh, good gravy. Good gravy. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah. We all know someone like that, don't we? <laughs> don't we, though? 
They're like personal talkers or something like that. They're annoying as all. <laughs> Get out. Yeah, we all know some of them. A little bit close, yeah. Yeah, like what do they call it? A close talker or something like that. So, that's the way it works. So, let me get my glue. So we don't don't have to work today. I think I told you guys that. I was going to... Uh, we have a beautiful pear tree down the road. And we've got a bunch of saplings that we've been trying to protect. Well, the dumb goats got in the... Knocked down the fence. So, we're going to have to really tighten the fence up so they can't do that anymore and so I was going to do that this morning but today I don't know I still might it just depends on how I feel when yeah, I get yeah see what we feel like yeah I have to take it slow yeah because yeah I mean we have a come along I happen to buy a come along at a yard sale so that's uh, a good thing to work um to help tighten the fence that's the one thing it really needs is tight and we really didn't do it um, super tight when we first put it together thinking well they're gonna um, you know they'll be okay but of course that um, it took them quite a while before they finally got through it, you know. But we'll see. Who knows if I feel up to it. I don't want her doing it. She's really hurting her neck and stuff. And I just don't want her to hurt more. And I already hurt, feel like crap, so what's going to, a little bit more pain going to matter, really. So, like I always say, I'd rather her hurt, hurt me hurt than her hurt, you know can handle it don't a big deal so okay so it's this seam right here okay <clears throat> but yeah we had a good day it was a lot of fun we did even if it was grocery shopping oh god I hate grocery shopping so much I'm so sick of it. <laughs> oh I told Shell, I'm all peopled out. You know, when I first, when we first got married, I had a traveling bone. I was just like, no, not just like Dad. But. So I never wanted to just, I couldn't sit. I just couldn't sit still. I've always wanted to go. You know, Shell's, oh, I was thinking about a pizza. Okay, I'll be right back. A pizza. Pizza, you know. Like say you got to finish yeah. the minutes. <laughs> you know, I, I want a pizza. And I said, okay, I'll be right back and drive 30 miles to get a pizza. So, you know, but I hate being out anymore. I could seriously probably could be home every day for the rest of my life, and I'd be perfectly happy. I'm just tired of, you know, we had a fiber. We do like people. I we, mean, yeah, not, well. I mean, yeah, to yeah. visit and stuff. But but, yeah, I, we, we, when we first, we had a fiber job up in Grand Junction fiber company that we located for and we had to drive up there every other day well that's almost isn't it a three-hour drive oh yeah and yet we go, go through Moab yeah it, it was miserable well all of a sudden we were driving and just the traffic just absolutely triggered something in me and we don't have we don't have that much ours traffic it's like a what is it a um, sorry guys I'm talking <laughs> I'm listening to Lindsay and chatting, but um, our traffic is like three cars trapped, trapped behind a tractor. Yeah. So it's not, it's not much of a. It's <laughs> not, you know, and I it just it triggered something in me, and when that happened, that was. I I couldn't do it no more for some reason. I just really affected me really badly, and so after that I. I'm perfectly content anymore. And I've always been content with Shell. Please don't get <laughs> that that idea. You know, it never had nothing about, you know. You better, you better be content with me. You know, I mean, I just really, I, yeah, I just. You're stuck with 
me long term. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened, why it did it, but ever since then it's never been the same. And, you know, I've driven millions of miles, you know, and, and that's a lot. When you stop to think, you know, you're only 52 years old, but you drive more, driven more miles than most people will drive in their life. So it's kind of wears on your body. Okay, guys, that is the end of the geese. So let me iron these, and I be right back. That's what I get for sewing and chatting. <laughs> what is wrong with this picture? I think hmm. probably already figured it out. I think probably saw it before you did. <laughs> uh, I believe maybe I have one too many. So, oh, I tell you, at least I didn't iron it and everything. It's easier to take out before it's ironed. Oh, I tell you. But, so, I'm going to do this. I might as well. I'm going to pause it. There's no sense in you see me frogging. <laughs> rip it. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it Be rip right it. back. <laughs> hey guys, uh, I got it sewn right this time. And at least I only had to rip out one little piece and not a bunch of it. Um, measured it. It came out at 14 and a quarter inches the books nine and a half by um nine and a half by uh 14. 14 so i'll probably just take a little tiny bit on each side so now it's time for this the border uh there's not going to be a side border it's only going to be uh, uh the top and bottom of the journal so these are long i cut these a little longer and if I remember right, they were, oh, they're not long enough, are they? Oh, that's just fun. Oh, wait, that's right. This is too, too short. I forgot. Okay. So, I don't really want to, um, now comes the decision. I think you guys, there you guys go. Um, you know, really, you want it to be showcased the best I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Yeah, that was about a job. And we aren't going to do that job. It's, yeah, I told him how much it would cost. And I told him how far it was. And he understood, you know, that, yeah, it is. Um, we are definitely a long ways away. So, but uh, now what I was getting to say was kind of want to showcase the the flying geese and it's matter of where to place the um the the border on it you know i want it to be all together see now i like this and with this one well and i can turn these really any way i think if i was to do it I think this way would be the best and maybe not have, but you really need more yellow since you got yellow on one side. You're going to want a little bit of yellow on the other. So, you know, it's a, just a matter of, I think, you know, tying everything together. Uh, I don't know. To me, the, the flowers are beautiful, uh, but if you look at this side, there really isn't that that much of a, a, a dramatic, you know, uh, I don't know, what? you know, a prominent flower on that side. So if we was to do it right here, we get rid of the flower and uh, that way we tie it all together. There's a little yellow here, which would be perfect for that. Matter of fact, I would probably do it this way. That way it kind of counter, you know, I like that so now it's just a matter of let's put it together my blocks aren't exactly all the same size and I'm okay with that you know what it's just when you're putting on your your border you want it just adjust it to 
make sure it's even I mean this is a big jump right here where this isn't so I'll probably try to make it go straight across and I'll leave that piece in the seam hopefully and not have to stress about it so that's kind of where I'm thinking what I'm thinking so let's put this there yeah he lives it's it's a probably at least a two-hour drive over to where the guy just called and uh, yeah he it's working like now. no I really didn't want to go he felt really bad that we couldn't work anything out and I told him please don't that really and truthfully I don't want to drive up there and it's not you know not a place I really want to go I used to be the locator there back in the 90s back during it was US West so I'm yeah I'm, I'm kind of over all that I just don't like it driving up there usually we get a call about now and they'll say That's so funny too. I know I it said that yeah <laughs> you know usually they'll call me and hey you know hey clan I need a locate up here by Norwood or whatever and then they'll say well and and the, the asparagus are popping up so you know that way I can go up do the do the locate and get asparagus and yeah, that doesn't make it any fun or truthfully. And it's not right, now, I mean. not right now. You know, we love asparagus, but it really hunting that asparagus really does take a toll because it's in the borrow ditches. And this time of year, a lot of it has water in it. And I don't mind the water. I mean, I wear I wear my moccasins, my moccasin boots, and I I'll get them soaked completely. So it doesn't bother me. It's just. It's a long drive, and it's just a drive that we're not. We weren't looking forward. Yeah, we weren't wanting to do much anymore. It was. I, I'm, in a way, I miss the area we used to locate back in those days, just because I know so many people. But also, I don't. You know, it's like uh, yeah, I'll right. see him once in a blue moon. I'm okay with that. You know, it, those those days were hard days when Chell and I started it was a lot of working driving like I said and it, you know we don't I don't miss it I really don't you know it's beautiful com country it's it's west of Telluride so it's actually on top of the mesas out there and it's a very beautiful area and there's a lot of pa pasture and stuff but it, it that's where our favorite mountain is, is up there, is Lone Cone. But that's where we go hunting mushrooms in a roundabout way. So it's just, yeah, we're kind of over that that part of it, you know. I mean, I started, I started in Norwood at 92 in Telluride, so I lived in Norwood. So, you know, it was kind of like a home for me. And I still, I miss, you know, that area, but I just don't miss having to drive up there at 2 o'clock in the morning because there was a water leak. Me either. You know. I yeah, I mean, it, it isn't a fun, that's not a very fun way to spend your morning, you know, driving. Especially with all the elk and deer and everything else we have around here. It's not, you know, not that, uh, uh, non-stressful drive I mean it's a very stressful you always have to keep your eye out for that elk and oh, I you were say cops. <laughs> well the cops also there but you know and I never really saw a lot of cops in that area but every once in a while there's more quite a bit more now but we had a friend that he uh, was driving a pickup truck with a horse trailer well not a horse trailer it was a fifth wheel construction uh, he, he was had a has a construction company and he uh, he hit a deer doing a hundred mile an hour in his truck and the only thing that saved him truthfully was his trailer uh, it stayed connected but it also kept it from uh, in you know flying end over end and stuff I mean he was hurt he was really badly hurt he ended up in a coma he had some brain damage, but I heard he's doing, you know, quite a bit better. And he, he nice guy, you know. Uh, but yeah, it was. It's so. It's. It wasn't like this stress-free drive. You really. You were on your to toes. You had. I mean, you were. 
Yep. Anticipating everything. And yeah, I, it was... Uh, It's kind of nice to, you know, that's one thing Shell and I were talking about, that it's so nice that now we're able to say no. And, you know, that has been an absolute godsend when it comes to work. Uh, it really has. I am, you know. Exactly. It took me a long time to actually be able to do that, you know. Uh, or to want to do it. But, you know, be able to say say no, you know, I've always been, you know, I've always, I've always been the one anyone's ever been able to count on, you know, and that's what's always on my mind, you know, so it was always hard for me to tell someone no, that I can't do it, but I've gotten quite a bit better, you know, that, you know, so, but... My um, strip isn't exactly the straightest. It had a fold in it, and I cut the fold. I cut it folded. I thought I was actually going to have to trim it down. I thought it was going to be too tall, but apparently it's not. I'm hoping it's too. I'm hoping it's just right because, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. With the other, I may end up having to do a small border. I don't know, but I think it's going to be long enough. I mean, we only need nine inches, so I think, you know, if it's nine inches and if it's just a tiny bit, I've got to do a border anyway, so I'll just leave it a tad bit, sh sh you know, center it and then do a border around it or something. I'm not too, a binding, you know, because we're going to have to bind it, we know that. I did. I think I told you guys yesterday. I did start the mosaic cover. I've got it uh, uh, put on the fusible or on the um, interfacing the bowl material. Uh, I ha I haven't put fusible crap or uh, my sticky <laughs> crap on this yet. I got to thinking I didn't really want to mess with it when I was ironing, and I also didn't want it on the bowl itself. So I went ahead and I thought, well, I'll just, uh, once this is ironed and I get everything where I know it's going to be, I'll put it on the fat, on this instead of the bowl interfacing. That will make life a lot easier, I think. So, you know, shall I last one called sticky crap? <laughs> or a, the proper term is, uh, Fusible web, but I don't like that. I like sticky crap. To me, that's <laughs> well, not who 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 you are, who I am. So I am. Yeah, I'm afraid we aren't going to have. Let me. Um, this is. I think I told you. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, this is uh, ten inches tall, if I remember right. out of it yeah it's 10 inches tall 10 inches wide whatever uh, tall and we do that in case you know um, we decide to make something 10 inches so I me mean, that's what I was doing was trying to figure out about how so we do uh, let me put nine inches right here think that's this oh and don't this is that yeah iron marker I'm not it's not like permanent that's one reason why I use it so I could just heat it up and it erases it I'm going nine inches right now um, I don't I can't go under nine inches so that's the problem so let me go and and we ain't gonna have enough look at that well that bite's done I'll be right back <laughs> okay guys don't pull a clamp so, this is it all pieced together. Uh, we are having a slight issue. This is um, we were going to do what? Nine, nine and a half or nine inches. Now nine inches. 
I do believe I'm a tad bit short. <laughs> uh, you know, I didn't take into consideration these, because I cut these at four inches, I forgot that I'm going to narrow it by three quarters of an inch, but if you look, how f I'm about a three quarters of an inch away, and so in my mind, I said, oh, it's going to work, so, but it didn't, and I got to figure out what I'm going to do, I don't know how long this video is, do you? I have no clue. I, well, it is wide long enough, we did discuss that, I mean, I measured it, there's my 14 inch right here. I didn't even look to see what time you started or anything, sorry. So, well that's alright, you're busy. I can bring it down just a little bit, but I mean, I don't want... I, you know, I could make a bigger binding for it too, I guess. I just don't know how well, much... Could, that would work, I think. Well, it would work, I just don't quite know how much I'm going to go. So that's the, well, it's not absolutely horrible. Huh. So, guys, I don't know. I think, um, I'm thinking about, you know, finishing it off camera, fixing it off camera, and uh, not doing a third video, because I don't even know how long I've been talking, I know. Uh, and I, I'll come up with a solution for this. I'll figure it out, and then I'll, I'll share you. I'll show you how I turned, how the the cover turned out, and then uh, what fabrics I'm going to use for the inside and the binding. Uh, we have a really beautiful blue fabric that, or green fabric. This, and I could always come out and put a, a strip, um, but. I mean, I'm only truthfully, I think, maybe three-eighths away from the edge. No. It's, yeah, it's about, it's about three-eighths. Just shy of a quarter, just a tad bit over a quarter. That isn't horrible. I can, I know I can cover it. See, so, I mean, if I do a wider binding, this part's a little bit, narrow it's probably just the fabric i don't have to have it move too much so yeah so it's about three eighths inch short on each side now that i did that i mean three eighths really isn't you know life or death situation i think i could probably cover that with a binding what's your thoughts mama what sorry i wouldn't listen she wasn't listening so what's your thoughts i was thinking how big would the binding be? Well, it has to cover three eighths. Oh. I think we can do inch. that. Usually they're about a half an inch on each side. That would work. Or you could also cut that down to nine if you want. That is nine inches. Oh. Okay. I already thought of that, baby. I think. Um, yeah. She's gonna look at it and tell me what she thinks. I think I can do the binding that way. I really, truly do. I think it would be fine. Yeah, I think so. Sorry guys, I can't touch anything because I am drawing and my hands are filthy. So yeah, it's I'm right there. I matched. Oh, is that it? Right that's there? it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. On each side. I mean, it's. About I would do a binding, maybe the pink. Kind of bring the pink in because the papers we're using for this one is really more pink. Is more pink. You can. I can do pull that. that um, paper pack over there. Oh, yeah, I don't even know if I showed and, uh, you this. Sorry, I guys. I don't oh, and you still have to show my roses, too. Oh, yeah. Go grab one. So this is Stamperia Dream. Can you see that, guys? While well, she's getting her rose to show you, let me show you our, the paper she's picked out. I think you guys can see it. Yeah, I would. And then I'll find the vase and put them in there. We're going to try a new flower technique with flowers. Uh, floral flowers, not flower, uh, on a new new technique we were thinking about doing with some fabric. Oh, yeah. And yeah. if we do that, it'll be a craft shoot. It'll be a craft shoot because we ain't going to know how it turns out. See, but look at this. This is the part I missed about it. Look at that. It's beautiful. It is, to me, they're it's absolutely like gorgeous. They're called a high-low? High yeah. I guess. I don't know. 
something like that. So, yeah, you put it in a, a potato. And oh, then, I think you should definitely do that. For uh, the yeah, I think I'm going to. So, so yeah, this is the paper she had chose for this, for the journal. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, if I did a pink border, the one, the flat one I got right now, that would be really pretty. So, this is really beautiful paper. So, you know, I think it's going to be, this, I think it's going to be an incredible journal when it's all done. I can't wait to see her do her magic with it you know we were talking about how god has blessed us that we're able to do this together and have each other to uh you know bounce ideas off and you know like for me to do a journal cover you know and i think this one's incredibly pretty i love it but you know it's just the cover there's not you know i mean she's going to add her her beautiful part to it and then it's going to make it you know, so I'm excited about that. So, I, guys, I'm really getting tired. I hurt so bad. <laughs> I, I'm not doing very good. I'm just going to finish this on my own. I will show you. I'll make sure and I'll do a quick. Uh, well, my when, next when, video. when she does her next video, I, want, I will show you before she does the video what it's going to look like or she can show you and what I did to it. Uh, we still got to come up with the inner inner fabric because I don't know what we're going to do there yet. I haven't really put much thought, put much thought in that actually. So, But we're going to let you guys go. Thank you for uh, visiting with us. I've had a lot of fun talking to you guys. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and also if you could please leave the, leave the video a thumbs up if you like it and uh, please join us for the next video. Join Shell because I think I'm videoed out right now. <laughs> I want to take a break for a couple of days. So, But I have enjoyed doing these two videos for you. It has made me very happy. So, um, But we will talk to you guys later. Thank you very much. Take care. Uh, we love you guys. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye, guys.